What's going on? <clears throat> How you guys doing? This is TK coming at you. You know, I want to do a quick little follow-up video to my post on cryptocurrency versus fiat currency. You know, <clears throat> the biggest thing in the election right now is people discussing access control and the inequality that exists within uh, fiat money in terms of those who have a lot and those who have pretty much nothing. So the big conversation piece is that uh, you have done something wrong or you haven't done enough and that's the reason why you don't have access to fiat currency or don't have a lot of it. When the truth is, in the money game, is more about gatekeepers. And gatekeepers feel like as long as they propagate themselves, they've done the right thing. Everyone sort of promotes ego, and they have this God complex in terms of who deserves to get money, who doesn't, who is justified in being at the top, and who isn't. So that's fiat money. That's just the way it is. There's corruption, there's hiding money, there's greed, there's manipulation, control, there's the egotistical God complex. There's all of that stuff that exists within fiat currency. So let's just take the, the flip side and let's get into cryptocurrency, why it was created, and the alternate side of this concept. The alternate side simply says that, okay, we have one open, transparent public ledgers where your bank statement is not hidden so if you want to be the corrupt, greedy, uh, jerk face, then everybody in the fi financial community can see it. So if you want to take $100,000 for a speech or $2 million for a speech, there's no hiding it. If somebody wants to pay you uh, under the table for doing something negative, there's no hiding it. So, of course, the gatekeepers, the egotistical God complex, you deserve money, and I get to put my foot on your neck and tell you who has access and who can't have access. Those people don't like cryptocurrency because you cannot manipulate the blockchain the same way you can manipulate fiat currency in doing things that you don't want other people to see. If you go to uh, the local uh, what do you call it? Uh, store and you buy a $100 bag of potato chips it's on the blockchain. All the details are right there. There's no way to fudge the numbers and say, well, I didn't buy a $100 bag of chips. Yes, you did. I see it within the blockchain. So access control within fiat currency is easy. Whereas access control within cryptocurrency is really not easy. I mean, anyone with an internet and a cell phone basically has the ability to create something of value and then someone else can send you cryptocurrency for that value. If you bake pies and you spend 10 hours in your kitchen and you say, well, I think my pie is worth a fraction of a Bitcoin. I can simply send you that fraction of a Bitcoin and then you can give me the pie. And there's no one who can say no, 
stop me or prevent me because sending somebody a Bitcoin is like sending someone an email easy so there's no access control there think about the many people who are relegated to assist their family members in foreign countries you come to one place where you wasn't born you don't live and then you need to send money back home those people go to a remittance place like Western Union and pay sometimes up to 10% depending upon how much money they're sending. And um, they do it every month. Well, how about just sending your loved ones in wherever you're from, send an email across the world, and you get a nice little tag that says you received X amount of money in Bitcoin. That That is what I'm talking about in terms of the comparison, the lack of control, the lack of uh, measures, because cryptocurrency is money outside of the government, outside of the bank, and outside of those egotistical God complex gatekeepers control. If you want to send somebody 10 cents, guess what? You can. If you want to send somebody $10,000, guess what? You can. Because the money goes from your Bitcoin wallet directly to their Bitcoin wallet. They receive an email that says such and such money has just been sent. And then the entire transaction is recorded in an open uh, public ledger that's called the blockchain which anybody within the Bitcoin community can log on and see and and verify. So, I encourage people to utilize the financial system that is cryptocurrency so that they can unlock personal freedom that comes with individual choice and money outside of centralized control.